Good morning and welcome to E4's Wake Up With. Today, I'm waking up with the Backstreet Boys. Oh yes, I have Backstreet Boys at my feet this morning. I'm waking up with Brian, AJ, Kevin, Nick and Howie, aka the Backstreet Boys. How are you doing boys? You alright? Good morning. Good morning. Well, that's very English of you. You picked it up. Yes, we've had a spot of tea already. Oh, have you? Yes. Um, now, they're going to be sticking around for a little chat later on. We've got some top quality music videos on the way, of course. But you see the boys here this morning. Now, they're, they're looking cool. They're all grown up. But things haven't always been that way. Let's have a look at an old classic Backstreet Boys track. And don't pretend you won't all be singing along. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome back to Wake Up with the Backstreet Boys. And I scare you then. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Wake up. Sorry. Uh, now then, boys, you've been away for three years. Is it good to be back? Very good. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you spend all your money in the last three years and that's why you're back? Yep. Yep. We were all broke. Bottom line. We were all yeah. broke. Yep. Bottom line. No. We, we took a break. Uh, we missed each other. We missed making music. We missed touring. We missed the fans. We had a chance to step away from it and like gain perspective on life and everything and just be really grateful and look back on all that we had accomplished together. We felt like we still had things left to do together as a group, so... Okay, and was it a good break? Because you all did different things. Yeah, it was a real healthy break. After we did the, uh, the last tour, everybody was kind of fried, a little just beat up and tired. And We've been touring for about nine years straight, so we needed to take a nice healthy break. And just mm. kind of everyone do their own thing and kind of get their feet back on the ground. And it was nice to have our anonymity again and to be able to just live a nice personal life and go shopping and do normal things and not be recognized and be bothered and whatnot. And now Nick, your time away from the band has been quite well documented. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you've got to say on the subject? I, in the, in the, in what case? I don't know. Well, you, sort of, you which, kind of which thing? Your what relationship with Paris Hilton? No, nah, it's just like <laughs> it's like nice. honestly, it's like. Um, she was just like another girl in my life, like another girlfriend that I had. Okay, so you surprised each other lots, you missed each other lots, and now you're back. Yes. Have lots of, uh, you know, interviews with <laughs> the, you know, the obvious backstreet back. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, now the, the clapping and cheering is going to continue, so we're going to have to look at some more videos, and we're going to come back after this. Welcome back to Wake Up with the Backstreet Boys. I can vouch they are absolute nutters. <laughs> what is different about Backstreet Boys this time around? I think oh, we have a all new, in good a places in our lives. We have an, and we have a newfound respect for each other. We've all had time to kind of grow up a little bit when we had the break, and everybody had a chance to spread their wings and do their own thing. And everyone kind of brings something a little different back to the group now because we're all. We all know each other like the back of our hands, so we know the right buttons to push to, you know, take each other off or make each other laugh or cry or... But okay, make Nick cry now. No, please don't. <laughs> I'm really crying right now. I hate you. <laughs> oh, look, it's <laughs> Okay, let's move on. It's all right, Nick. He doesn't really... I love you, buddy. Do it, my do it. Watch the lip <laughs> and the eyes. <laughs> uh, the album took a year to record, lads. What took so long? The album took shape pretty much the last six months of the recording process. And we did about 50 songs and picked 12. Wow. Okay. Is success still important to you? Because speaking of 12, you've had 12 top 40 singles. You know, is that something that you still... Really? Yeah? That's great. So, I and you know sold that. 73 million. And we've been together 12 and a half years. Wow. Like a single for every year that you've been together. It doesn't nice. sound like great when you say it like that, does it? No, no, not really. <laughs> is success still important to you, though? Are top spots still important? So Top funny. spot is not as <coughs> important as it used to be. Now that we're older and we're happy in our own skin, we're satisfied with the music that we make together. And it's I more about longevity now. Yeah, maintaining a, a stable, happy career where you can be normal people as well as, you know, be a, be a backstreet boy. Yeah. Um, but to have a long career, you have ups and downs in your as the fans stay faithful to you, I saw lots of girls waiting outside your hotel. And They've all grown up with us. I mean, we've seen a lot of familiar faces that we've we've seen over the last 12 years. And 
some new faces, you know, I mean, it's... And are the knickers cool. getting bigger, you know, you find yeah. the fans are getting older, so now you're getting just like big, you know, bloomers on the Actually, really? they're getting the smaller are getting more. and more sexy. Yeah. yeah. Are they, they are. really? Some of but them. Because at first, the the first they bigger. threw up, you know, the nice. little underwear, really the granny panties that they used to wear when they yeah. were little, and now they're getting nice and sexy. Uh, no, Nick, you worked with Tommy Lee on some material as well. And Tommy Lee apparently says that you are the biggest party guy he knows. Now that's something coming from Tommy Lee. I pick and choose the places that I'm going to be wild and crazy. Now, especially like if I'm working, if I'm out on the road, I really don't do it that much. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm young, 25. I like to have fun. And I just try to stay out of trouble as much as possible. We're all going to be wild now. You watch some music videos and then return back for more wildness. Okay, you're watching Wake Up with the Backstreet Boys, uh, and our boys, you've been together for 12 and a half years. Um, I think, is it, what, how long did you say you've been on the road for? Nine years you've been on the road. Oh, that, that was four years ago. Okay. So, the, that was before we took yeah, the break, we were kind of going straight for touring for nine straight years almost. You've been on the road a while, so you probably know each other quite well. So we put together a little quiz to test how mm -hmm. well you know each other. This is called Backstreet Boys, how well did they know each other? <laughs> <laughs> That's the okay. clever one. Feel free to holler up now. Who was once quoted as saying they had a soft spot for Christina Ritchie? Nick. Nick. Wow, they do know me. Keep staying quiet yeah, there, I know. They do know me. Who previously said that his biggest pet hate is that his hair takes too much work? Uh, Howie. Howie. Worth the effort, Howie. Who once like said it. the word boy band used to offend me? Now I don't care. I'm so over it. Kevin. Kevin. Are you over it? That? Are you over it? Yeah, Kevin? you said that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin and uh, now that's it. You all know each other really well. Cool. That's but me well. and Ryan don't know anything about each other. No, we don't. You've had no. the test. Backstreet Boys, how well do they know each other? Answer, very well. More videos. part of Wake Up With The Backstreet Boys. Uh, now then, all good things must come to an end, boys. But um, we're going to leave you, or leave you I should say, with your video, your new video, which is Just Want You To Know. What is the idea for that one? Uh, Nick and I started discussing an idea about doing a throwback video to the 80s. I wrote a concept on the plane and uh, we shot it. And it's here a really it is. cool video as well. You've got like you're all dressed up. You've got wigs on. There's lots of honeys in it. There's lots of cool cars and lots of snogging. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Were there any you know like retakes on the snogging? Kevin were, was were snogging a lot. He was the only one that snogged. I got that wrong. What? You have to keep retaking on the snogging. No, actually, I think we only did it twice. Twice. Because he said I didn't. He went, He's like, I really want you to suck her face off. <laughs> Just go like, okay. all out. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> I yeah, I had a girl to. lick me. It's about it. And then Nick, Nick licked, licked the girl's, the girl's face. face. Yeah. But that wasn't cool. for that's just Nick. No. Yeah. Brian was in the was in the uh, was it was it a Corvette? In the Corvette. Corvette thing. doing donuts. I wasn't kissing the car. No. Um, now, do you want to introduce the video? <clears throat> this is probably one of the funnest videos we've ever shot. We had a blast. We hope you have a laugh. We hope you enjoy it. This is just want you to know. Wait, 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 wait. 